to the Boss Battle Show today for Tuesday. Uh, we are going to talk to you about uh, some gaming news that's happened. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, mimes. <laughs> <laughs> Street Fighter news. We got a new character. Uh, yeah. And uh, some just just a gamut of things. And just, believe it or not, Star Wars. Oh, we don't fuck with that. Can't. <laughs> Kitties, I'm here to talk to you about Rise of the Tomb Raider. We've got some good news. It went gold. That means the game is completely finished and is being sent off to the presses. And that's going to be for Xbox One and believe it or not, Xbox 360. Um, but the other good news is that means we're not going to see any kind of delays to the game and it will hit its scheduled release date of November 10th because it's completely done. So there's nothing else to fix, assuming they didn't send us a broken game, which I hope they did not. You better not have. Now, one potential issue with the game, and there's a lot of backlash already on the internet, is there is a lot of microtransactions. Um, potentially up to 300 microtransactions that could factor into the game. <laughs> so I'm still gonna pick it up. I love you, Lord Croft. I'll see you soon. What's up, my fellow primates? No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> They're not primates. They're really cavemen. What do you? What would? What's a word for that? If not primate. What's up, my fellow primitives? Adam Ronan here, and I want to tell you about Far Cry Primal, which was just announced this last week here. And you know what? I haven't played particularly a lot of the Far Cries, but Far Cry Primal is looking really cool. This is the first game I think that's really actually ever been made. Uh, that's taken place in 10,000 BC. Uh, we can't really count Turok in that because you know Turok had guns and the brain board. Remember the brain board? That would got going was sick. But this game is like seemingly from the trailer they released is like true to life, if you will. They're speaking like in a different dialect. They've got spears and they're hunting woolly mammoths. It looks really cool, but the thing about it that's making me nervous is it comes out on February 23rd, which is a mere four months away, and we're just now getting a uh, announcement about it. Um, and Far Cry 4 has, uh, at this point of filming, was it hasn't even been out a year. Uh, it came out in November of 2014, and here we are of October 2015. So, I mean, I feel like that game, uh, if you guys remember Blood Dragon, that was kind of like a spin-off of Far Cry 3, I feel like this is kind of going to be in the same vein, where it's a spin-off of Far Cry 4, using the same engine, the same graphics, that kind of thing. Um, however, it's probably the first one I'm going to pick up. It's going to be really cool. Um, I just kind of hope that maybe, like, there's a dinosaur in there somewhere. You know, just like some raptors. What's up, Street Fighter fans? So everybody's pretty excited because Ono's been giving off those Brazil teasers. We got a Brazil stage. We got a green guy. We got electricity. We got the hairy orange chest. <laughs> electricity, no. No, that's not what we got. What'd we get? We got Christy Mac, everybody. Oh, yes. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> we got Laura, who apparently is the older sister to Sean. So this is really cool for Street Fighter fans because now we're getting a brand new character, but she also has a tie-in to some of the older history without actually bringing that character back. She is Brazilian, um, and she's also a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist. Everybody's really excited because there might be some grappling that comes out of her. Um, in addition to that, it looks like she also has some electricity attacks to go along with it. Grappler! Ah! Oh, <laughs> What's the deal with everyone in Street Fighter having really fucking dumb names? We got Laura, Laura, Sean. These yeah. aren't formidable Ken. foes. Ken. What's the deal, Ono? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Hey, Cooler! Oh yeah. Last thing we want to talk to you about today yeah. is the, the the community of Star Wars fans is. Uh, it's a delicate thing of just neck beardy guys behind their keyboards are like, oh, I need my Star Wars. Where the fuck is the Star Wars trailer in this? I know trailer. Yeah, he's like, yeah. my precious in his beard, like his neck beard grows like another bearded guy out of it. He's, the bearded, he's wearing his I am Ronin He's shirt. like, yep, yeah, which you can buy for $20 or on r 24 And really, they're not out of the realm of no. craziness because not. the movie is coming out in two months and you've seen nothing. Nothing, and I predicted that the Star Wars trailer was going to launch on September 4th. Uh, was I wrong? You I was were. wrong. You I was were. fucking wrong. You and were. that's, I'm usually good at predicting stuff. I'm like the nerdy Nostradamus. I'm like but the right, nerd Nostradamus. Right about the time you should be seeing this is the anticipated yep. trailer release. So, um, now, these are not confirmed release dates, but <laughs> it's unanimously kind of, uh, 
understood that at this moment they're going to announce the trailer on the 15th saying like the trailer is going to be up on this date and then that yeah. release date will be between the 15th and the 19th and then because the tickets are supposed to go on sale on October 19th mm -hmm. uh, so it would just make sense that the first and probably Your, final trailer comes out. The trailer out. will probably come out before those tickets because they want to get as many pre-orders as they can get it's all true. that money in the pocket. But anyway that's the end of our episode today. Yep. You are TJ Combo and I am Gordon. Adam Rowan. No, I'm not Gordy. <laughs> uh, I wish I was Gordy. I'd be fucking sexy as fuck. Yeah. Um, anyway, we'll see you the on killer. Thursday for something Couch different. Co -op. God, that fucking hurts after you do it a few times. You know? Yeah, massive knuckles. Bad. Like, like if your dick was out, I wouldn't be able to see it super well because the lights are blinding. Mm. But I mean, I can always sense when a dick is in the room. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, are you recording already?